Welcome to Crypto Classroom, the number one YouTube channel for learning about the latest trends in cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. At Crypto Classroom, our main goal is to equip our audience with the knowledge needed to excel in the dynamic and fast-paced cryptocurrency landscape. In today's video, we will be doing a deep dive into Ethereum. We will discuss what makes this project so fundamentally strong, some of its key partnerships, price catalysts that it has on the horizon, and why we recommend at least owning 0.25 Ether. So be sure to stick around to the end because you don't want to miss this. Let's begin. What is Ethereum? Invented in 2015 by Vitalik Buterin, a Russian-Canadian, one could say Buterin was inspired by Bitcoin as he discovered the first cryptocurrency was like a pocket calculator, only designed to do just one thing. So he created a blockchain network called Ethereum with its own crypto called Ether with the potential to do a lot more than Bitcoin. Simply put, you can buy and trade Ethereum as an investment just like Bitcoin. However, it is also a software platform that developers can use to make new applications. These applications are just like the apps on your mobile phone. They can do anything from payment platforms to lending apps. Although mobile apps are more universally applicable while Ethereum apps are more suited for crypto users. This is done via smart contracts which is a program that works independently on the Ethereum blockchain. It performs all functions that some third party traditionally does. Here's an example. People can make direct transactions over the network and Ethereum peer-to-peer -peer lending has become more popular. A lending app developed on the Ethereum network allows one person to lend money to another without getting a bank involved in the transaction. Smart contracts that make this possible are algorithms designed to perform a particular task when some specified conditions are met. In the case of a peer-to-peer -peer loan, the contract lends the money when the collateral is put into the right wallet or account. Using a smart contract instead of a traditional lender has many advantages. Faster execution of transactions, lower fees, and the lack of bias or human error. What are the other uses of Ethereum? Like other cryptocurrencies, Ethereum was built on the idea of decentralized finance or DeFi. Because the products and services that are on the Ethereum are available to anyone who has access on the internet, smart contracts allow creators to build decentralized applications, DAPs that can serve various purposes. These applications include financial tools like crypto exchanges, data services, and decentralized lending platforms. Additionally, there are also categories of DAPs for things like buying and selling games, digital artworks, and developer technology. Ethereum's open source principle allows for developers to build entirely new cryptos on top of it, like the digital tokens Chainlink and XRP. Some of these assets come in the form of various cryptos you may have already come across such as Uniswap, Tether, or USDC. Bear in mind that cryptos are not the only digital assets that can be created on Ethereum. Recently, NFTs are another example of something created on the Ethereum platform. It's mandatory for developers to pay a fee on the Ethereum network to create new tokens or dApps on the network. Such payments are made in Ethereum's native currency, Ether. This fee is called gas which is the price for using the system. Like paying for a ticket to use a bus or train, so Ether is the cash you'd use to pay. Take note that different actions are worth different amounts of Ether and the fees get higher as more people join the network. So what determines Ether value? It's quite simple really. The gas prices and all the uses developers are paying to explore constitutes the rise in Ether's value over time. Meaning, as more and more developers look to create magic on Ethereum, they must buy more Ether to pay gas fees. This in turn increases the price of Ether. On the other hand, gas fees are one of the biggest challenges facing the growth of Ethereum and has become a constant problem which Ethereum is trying to solve with Ethereum 2.0. Oh, it's an update on the network but only developers can enjoy its advantages. According to the official Ethereum site, the update won't affect investors and dApp users. So with Ethereum 2.0 in the development, interesting days are in store for the Ethereum network. Experts say it will be ready in 2022. Mining Ethereum tokens will officially end and staking will become the major way to create new tokens. This is the reason why buying at least 0.25 Ethereum before the launch of Ethereum 2.0 would be a very wise investment. After Ethereum 2.0 launches, it should translate to more seamless operations on the network, enticing more developers to create some cool and exciting projects. At the moment, many of the top projects developed on the Ethereum platform are focused on DeFi. It aims to expand the use of cryptocurrencies from daily transactions to more complex financial use cases like derivatives and loans. Here are some huge projects built on Ethereum that are making waves. 
Marker DAO. Surely, you have heard of stable coins, which is an effort to improve upon the problems of cryptos. Crypto prices fluctuate unpredictably, making them unsustainable as a means of payment and a dependable store of wealth. While most stable coins are centralized, Marker DAO is unique because it has a detailed plan for how to decentralize eventually. Uniswap is a decentralized trading platform. Uniswap, unlike most exchanges, never takes control of a user's fund, which is a unique feature. It's the most widely used decentralized platform. Keep Keep in mind that Uniswap is critical to Ethereum's recent burgeoning DeFi movement. Trades between coins are made easier as a result of this. Another large project based on Ethereum platform is Chainlink. It's an Oracle platform which means it connects smart contracts to real-time data from the outside world like weather or stock prices. That data is used by a smart contract to carry out predefined instructions. Chainlink is powered by an ERC-20 crypto token called Link. Axie Infinity is an online role-playing game where users collect and raise digital fantastical characters called axes. Axes are actually NFTs, therefore each of them is cryptographically unique. Gamers have full ownership over them and in some cases have monetary value due to their scarce collectible nature. Now let's talk about some news regarding the Ethereum network and how it could further permeate the mainstream. Skybridge Capital CEO Anthony Scaramucci wants to launch an Ethereum fund and will file for an ETF. ETFs are exchange-traded funds and Ethereum's first ETF was recently released Released, but hasn't been approved in the US. There are currently 13 applications that exist for Bitcoin's ETFs, but only a handful for Ethereum. In Canada, Bitcoin ETFs were approved first before Ethereum's ETF approval, which means Canada now has 3 to 4 Bitcoin ETFs and 2 to 3 Ethereum's ETFs. This is quite bullish for the long term because other countries could follow suit, especially in locations where cryptocurrency is already widely adopted. If these ETFs are approved, they could potentially drive high volume volumes of liquidity into the market, causing the price to soar. JP Morgan's CEO says Ethereum upgrades can jumpstart a 40 billion staking industry. Ethereum 2.0 staking contract is approaching 6 million staked Ethereum, which means there's tremendous confidence and belief in the Ethereum 2.0 network and in the ability of developers to deliver. Big money is starting to make its way into the network. Proof is JP Morgan's CEO who has been talking about Ethereum this strongly, which means other big money players are now paying a lot of attention to the network. We've already seen big money coming in, but right now, the big money players involved are forward-thinking players who understand what this asset is and its potential. They have set their sights on the long term. Predicting the price of any crypto is difficult and even more difficult when it is Ethereum. The bearish winter of 2018 was devastating to Ethereum as it lost more than 92% of its value. However, it has rebounded since then, establishing new all-time highs. There is no arguing that Ethereum is a blockchain juggernaut. This is evident by the fact that of the top 100 tokens subject to market cap, over 95% of them are Ethereum-based. So there is much to be excited about if you happen to already own ETH or plan to own some. Despite the lackluster price movements of late, at the time of this recording, one ETH is currently worth $2,582 with a $390 billion market cap. ETH's all-time high is $4,878.26, but given the number of high-profile projects that are hopping on the Ethereum and considering Ethereum 2.0 is coming soon. It won't be surprising if it retests its previous all-time high and pierces through $5,000. From its current price, that would be a 102% increase. Bitcoin's price movement is mostly about people moving their Bitcoins, whether buying or selling, but with Ethereum, there is more you can do. With Ethereum, there is way more utility. From DeFi to NFTs, there are plenty of opportunities for you to participate in this robust ecosystem. Going forward, Ethereum could potentially decouple from Bitcoin's price action as a result of more social proofing from big brands like Twitter and JP Morgan. Additionally, there are a host of price catalysts on the horizon, from Ethereum 2.0 to Ethereum ETF, thus making the future for Ethereum very bright. What do you think? Does Ethereum have what it takes to maintain its reign? We would love to hear your thoughts. Please feel free to share them below. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and smash that notification bell so that you know when we upload a new one. Until next time, see you in the next video.